Yo, ladies and gents, welcome back to another Rocket League video. Uh, today's tutorial is going to deal with a single flip reset. Um, a request of somebody after I did the triple flip reset tutorial. So uh, we're just going to talk about a single flip today. So I'm assuming all of you know what a flip reset is. Um, if you don't, basically it is when you're undercarriage of your car meets the bottom of the ball um, it recognizes it as a surface and then it provides you with a flip uh, for an unlimited amount of time so you can use this flip whenever you'd like uh, but yeah all right let's get right into the tutorial all right so i'm gonna talk about how most people actually end up learning a flip reset and it kind of looks like this <laughs> this is how most people will learn a flip reset <laughs> It'll look something like that. That might be like how one of your first flip reset goals looks like. Um, I at least know I hit my first one when I was like a champ one. Um, and that's pretty much what it looked like. I hit it in a ones game. Uh, so the tip I want to give to everybody uh, for the beginning is you should be trying to get the reset as soon as possible. Literally as soon as possible. So as soon as you pop that ball off the wall, I want you guys to be flying the underside of your car uh, into the bottom of the ball. And this is where the tapping free air roll that I spoke about in the other videos uh, comes in handy. The reason you do this is because this is where it gives you the optimal opportunities for outplay. Um, and the quicker you get the reset, you know, the faster you can go into like the rest of your mechanical play. So. Uh, I would highly recommend you guys start practicing your car control so you can just do stuff like that. Um, getting the reset as quick as possible is kind of like meta nowadays because people are so quick to defend you. Um, so this is probably the best way I would say you can go get a reset. Uh, but yeah. So we're going to talk training pack now. Um, I, again, I'm going to recommend my own training pack just because this... Uh, the very first setup is ideal for this type of thing. Uh, so there's the code for you guys. Uh, we're going to hop right in. So there's not really too many steps that are different from the air dribble tutorial. Um, it's really all you want to do is pop it. Um, and it's the exact same type of pop, not too far from yourself, not too uh, far away from yourself. Um, you really just want it pretty close to yourself. Um, Oh, and sometimes you'll get robbed like that. <laughs> but uh, to this day, I, I really prefer uh, getting it as early as possible so I can then do whatever I want. This is what allows for the opportunities of outplay, right? You can you can really do whatever you'd like after getting this reset. You can go lean back for a musty. You can go for chain resets. Uh, you can use the reset to hit it over somebody, flip it to the backboard, go for a double. It's really what makes uh, the shot dangerous. And I feel like people nowadays want to know how to do chain resets and stuff like that. But to this day, a single flip reset is good enough for you to score in any game against any player because uh, they kind of have to respect that you have a reset. And it's all about the, the timing um of when you're going to use it right but yeah that is what makes a flip reset dangerous these days i also want to specify that this can be uh used as a fake right because if somebody respects that you have the flip reset um especially in a ones game this is like a really good opportunity to, to be using something like this um you can use it as a recovery mechanic as well so you guys can see here i end up Going to get my reset. Um, it's a little late, right? Because it seems like I get a little wobble off this first touch. You can see my pre-flip is not the best. Um, and the ball is already falling before I go get the reset. So uh, me trying to flip reset goal from here is not going to happen, right? So what I do is I end up turning the card down like this. And then I use the flip to wave dash catch the ball. Um, and not only does it speed it up, but it gives me an extra time. Uh, extra bit of time to just shoot this around the other player um and if you take a look at this from his pov he has to respect the reset he sees it happening but by the time he's uh prepared to go uh i've already swapped momentum on him right you can see i freeze him here for a second 
and he slows his momentum down, and then I'm already speeding the ball up and shooting it before he can even react. Um, and this is a very efficient way you can you can use a flipper set to, to score these days. Um, another thing I want to say is it can also be used as a controlled touch, and I feel like people don't use it like that. Uh, whether that be, you know, you want to quickly change your momentum like this against somebody, right? And then flick it over one, like whatever. Um, you can use it like that. Um, and then another way you can use it is I feel like once you get good enough, or at least how I was thinking about it, once you get good enough at getting resets wherever you want, um, you can use it like something like this, where you just fly your car into the reset. Um, and then you can do whatever you'd like from there as well. Uh, and I feel like a lot of people don't think about it this way. Um, and you can even hit these to the backboard for, uh, you know, for a double reset, like whatever. Uh, in 3v3, when you get a pop in front of the net, even, this is another, if we go to Squishy's training pack, and you're up uh, immediately, and now they're just jumping, your, your opportunity to like dunk them or beat them to this is very good. And then obviously there are things like advanced mechanics, like getting pancakes uh, on the backboard and stuff like that. Um, um, tutorial wise, there's not really too many different steps, like I said, from the uh, air dribble. So it's the same type of pop. Uh, the only difference is, I think, flying the car up into the ball, you know, kind of when it reaches its peak after you pop it is probably the the only step that's different um and then the one tip i would give you guys is to tap your free air roll when you actually get the reset uh and this way your car will stick you can see like how it's kind of stiff after you get this um rather than if you were driving uh, i also recommend do not accelerate uh when you get resets because what's more likely to happen is I don't know if you guys have done a flip reset or you get like a glitch reset or it looks like your wheels are spinning or whatever it may be. Um, but I, I find that not accelerating when I go for flip resets or chain flip resets um, is just better. All right, and then final example for you guys of another spot where people might not even think of you going for a flip reset. Uh, this is from Matusia Monkey and I played recently. Uh, and you can see here, I know that this player is going like, to get a controlled like pop. And it looks like a really dumb goal, doesn't it? Right, to concede. But neither player is expecting me to do this here. Right? So obviously, little Pabs gets a touch that he does not want. And so I immediately jump my undercarriage into this ball. And he might think that I'm just touching it to be annoying. But then he doesn't expect that I have a flip reset. And I'm pretty sure this this uh, Leno... Leno Siffies? I'm not even really sure how to say that name. Uh, I'm sure he didn't even think in the moment that I got a reset here. Um, and you can see that it gives me that extra little bit of uh, an option to outplay. As soon as I see him sitting there, I, I orient the car to shoot behind him, and then I use the flip to put it around him, and then I'm just flip canceling so I could use uh, a little double tap. And it looks really dumb, but uh, it's a smart little outplay that I... So, final example, uh, we had a high-level lobby against Mass and Xernite recently, uh, and you guys can see here that this is another uh, opportunity to be using a flip reset. So, after my first touch, I'm pre-flipping out um, and completely orienting my car, you know, for the undercarriage touch. And you can see I perfectly manage my boost here, right? 83, so I use about 40 boost to get the touch, right? And then I'm using a little bit more to get this pre-flip off. And then the last 18 is what I use to actually get the reset. And then I'm scooping it. Um, so just recap and tips for you guys. I don't want you to be rushing, okay? When you first learn flip resets, uh, really take the time to understand this, right? So as soon as you get the reset, you don't want to be like using it immediately. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people, I think rush their resets and they end up looking like this right you you have a lot more time than you think uh and you have the advantage in that situation if you did get the flip right because the defender then has to wait for you so that's really where you can you can 
use that reset to outplay. Um, you could wait for the pre-jump and then just flip it over them. You can hit it to the backboard. You can go for another reset. Like this is truly where the advanced mechanics begin. Um, so do not rush. Tap your free air roll. Make sure you're getting the flip reset before the ball starts to come down. Um, those are the three biggest tips I think I could give for a single flip reset. But it's not too complicated. Uh, it just takes a ton of ton of practice. So uh, once you guys get it down, start using it in game. You know, that's the uh, and then you you know some people get creative and they do like stall resets or like whatever. Um, but I wouldn't just be going for flipper sets all over the place. Uh, practice, practice, practice. If this video helped you guys, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. Uh, there's going to be more videos like this on the way. So keep your eyes peeled. The Masters of the Craft series returns tomorrow. I'm very excited to say. So if you guys have been enjoying my Rocket League content, uh, that episode will still be in Rocket League. So I really do hope you guys uh, show some support and love on that. Uh, but yeah. Much love as always. Appreciate you all. And I will see you guys in the next one or on stream. Peace.